Uh, thank you very much. Um, so uh, uh, my presentation and the proposal of the new focus area on deformation field by INSA and Genesis. And the idea is not so much mature as <laughs> the ones uh, proposed by Haro, but uh, I'd like to have your comments about this idea. And uh, uh, yes, you know, uh, INSA is a uh, uh, powerful technique to get in a high, highly, uh, 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 differential field was in a high spatial resolution, but uh, uh, you know the temporal resolution is uh, very limited. And also, uh, inside images still uh, include uh, large noises caused by atmosphere, ionosphere, and also orbit errors. On the other hand, GNSS, we have continuous time series, a uh, very precise time series, but uh, these are only at the observation sites. And uh, uh, the, these coordinates are usually uh, very consistent with a uh, uh, terrestrial reference frame. So uh, in order to combine these two products, we can get a uh, high spatial resolution and uh, also uh, deformation fields, uh, which are consistent with a terrestrial reference frame. So what is the impact of the combination of instant GNSS? Uh, let me show you the case of Toho earthquake, a mega, uh, one of the mega quake happened in the Last decades, uh, uh, last decades. Uh, so you can see the uh, insert deformation field uh, uh, obtained just after the earthquake. Uh, you can see the uh, large errors called, called by the uh, satellite orbit error. Uh, so the insert combination uh, combination of the GNSS into the insert uh, is in a huge uh, impact to reduce error caused by the inaccurate orbit. And also we can get the uh, uh, prompt and accurate mapping of cosmic displacement uh, by the combination. So you can see the impact. So you see the error uh, reduced by the combination. And uh, another impact of the INSA, uh, a combination of INSA and the Genesis is corruption for uh, special long wave length signals. Uh, you, you see, uh, the uh, insta deformation field usually uh, contain the uh, deformation field co uh, lo in a long uh, wavelengths. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, in the uh, example I show in this uh, uh, slide, the uh, in in the uh, area uh, near the epicenter, even after the uh, earthquake, the uh, this, um, I mean, uh, 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 inside image uh, include an, uh, a large uh, post seismic deformation caused by mega quake. So this is, of course, very important information. But uh, this prevent us to find the uh, uh, signals uh, in a in a uh, very small scales. Once we remove these uh, long, uh, special long wave length signals, uh, we can see the uh, signals in uh, very small areas, like the, uh, the like ones uh, shown in the, this uh, slide. And uh, so, uh, let me show you the use cases of combined deformation fields uh, in the Japanese case. Uh, so the a uh, combined deformation field is useful to detect and monitor the volcanic deflation, and also it is uh, useful to estimation of pressure sources. Uh, the, this uh, figure shows an, uh, a deformation field detected by the combined deformation field it, uh, at the uh, volcanic island in Japan. You can see uh, local uh, deflation along the summit, and. Uh, uh, you can also see the time series of the uh, deflation detected by the uh, combined field. And with these uh, signals, we can also estimate the time variation, the pressure source uh, volume. The another example is in a, uh, so nationwide uh, monitoring of su surface def deformation. Uh, by insert time series analysis. Uh, I mean, uh, this uh, insert time series analysis uh, already uh, uh, included, uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, combined with GNSS, and uh, uh, so we remove uh, long wave 
length spatial signal from this uh, uh, deformation field. So you can see local signals. Uh, so this is a kind of showcase we detected by these con combined products. So we can get uh, the signals caused by uh, subsidence, also landslides and volcanoes and also uh, earthquakes are uh, the post-seismic deformation caused by uh, local earthquakes. So uh, the proposed uh, focus of this focus area is first uh, uh, how to combine the INSA and GNSS. Uh, what is the uh, best way to combine these two signals? <clears throat> the another focus is now uh, uh, utilization of the, this combined deformation field. How to utilize this to the uh, our science, uh, like uh, detection of su surface displacement and uh, long-term deformation, and also uh, the this is a, one of the main focus for us uh, to, to how to uh, utilize this uh, deformation field uh, for the maintenance and monitoring of the geodetic reference frames. So this is the basic idea of the new focus area. So I'm happy to have any comments from you. <laughs> Uh, yes, thank you very much. Thank you for your presentation. Are there any questions, Professor Ara? Yes, uh, Peter. Yes, thank you for your presentation. Uh, I have a question. Um, how does this relate to the uh, European ground motion uh, service that is already operational, which is using INSRA and GNSS as well? So you, you mean, uh, uh, sorry, I, I couldn't get you. Oh, what, what, what? Well, my question is, there mm -hmm. is a European ground motion service, which is already operational and using uh, uh, interferometric uh, uh, synthetic uh, aperture radar data and GNSS as a combination to monitor um, service motions uh, on a continental, national, and local scale. My question is, how is this related to to uh, your proposal? Uh -huh. uh, yeah, um, uh, so maybe the uh, yes, and, uh, we are also uh, operating the uh, monitoring in. in uh, by instant and genesis in Japan. So maybe uh, it's uh, the com uh, comparison of the different services could be help us to find the uh, best way to uh, combine and monitor the uh, deformation field by the combination. Okay, thank you. Are there any other questions? Uh, yeah, thank so, you very much. And uh, uh, the next step is uh, to find the uh, uh, people who contribute to this focus area. And then, um, we still cannot get the uh, uh, people who will be able to uh, uh, join us. So uh, if you have any idea, please let me know.